Welcome to the Trim Basic User Training. For those of you who don't know what Trim is, it's the electronic version of the Record Center. So everything that uh, we have in the Record Center on paper is eventually going to end up in Trim and be readily accessible to everyone in the department all at the same time. So to get to Trim, the first thing you want to do is in your Internet Explorer browser, just type in in the address box ENVERC and hit enter. This should work as long as you're on the network, the CDPHE network. So this is what Trim looks like. And uh, from here you can basically do a quick search. Uh, so this is the easiest way to do it. You can either type in your permit number and hit enter, or you can type in the name of the system. Or so the the quick search would be permit number or PWS ID, or you can search by name of the system or name of the facility or I'm sorry, name of the permittee or the system. So once your search comes up, the best thing to do to make sure you see everything within a particular folder is right click on that folder and click contained records. That will show you all the documents within a folder. And then to view one of the documents, you right click on the document and click view. So while this is loading, um, a couple things to note. The title of a document is going to contain the permit number and then the type of document that you're looking at. So here's a permit, a correspondence from WQCD, an application, a correspondence to WQCD, and an administrative extension. Date created is the Record Center's best guess for the actual date that the document was created. So for a permit, that would be the issue date. Um, for a letter, that would be the date that's at the top of the letter. For an application, that would be the date the application was signed, and so on. So once you've opened a document, this is what it looks like. And you can save that to your desktop or print it out. Just please, if you're doing that, don't return it to the Record Center as a new record because we already have that, obviously, so we don't want another copy. So just to note, you can move these columns around and change their width, but we'd recommend that you don't because if you do that, uh, everyone's logged into the same guest account. And if you make changes to these columns, everyone else will see those changes the next time they go to trim. Uh, so we've selected the, the most pertinent columns, uh, headers that, that we could think of. But if you have suggestions for different columns that you'd like to see in here, uh, please contact the Record Center. And eventually we will lock the columns so that you cannot more you cannot edit them or change them. Um, we can also add different metadata down here in this uh, information window. So if you'd like to see different data down here, we can put that in as well. Just again, contact the Record Center. So when you click on a document, there's lots of data shown about it down below in the information window. There's the title of the document, size, date created, and other information like if you go back to the record itself, you can see if there was a related record. So if the record was uh, converted to a different number, then you can see the old number and the new number all in one spot.
so I showed you quick search. Uh, for a slightly more advanced search, you can try the form search. With the form search, you select form search in this drop down list, and then you click on the magnifying glass icon. And here you can search by title of the document, notes about the document or the record, the folder. Uh, document content is one that we think is going to be very valuable. This allows you to search any text within the body of the document or within the document at all. Um, so all of the, the uh, documents that we scan and put into Trim electronically uh, or you know scan from the physical document, uh, all of the text, as long as it's ty typed text, gets recognized by Trim and and um, indexed so that you can search by anything, any text within the document. So you can, if there's a phrase that you know you're looking for in a letter that you wrote, you can type that phrase here and Trim will search the documents, all of the documents for that phrase. You can search within a date range and you can search by uh, you can search by any number of these. So if I expanded number is the equivalent of permit number or PWS ID in this form search area. So if I type in CUR and then a wild card and I say title is T-bone contains the word T-bone or let's try construction. That will be that will bring up a lot. I should see all permits that start with COR and the permit T has construction in their in their name. So here you see we have 1800 results. That makes sense. And we're seeing the first 50 on this page. And we can see the next page by clicking here or we can type in a different page. So clearly that was a uh, more broad search than I should have looked, should have done if I was looking for a specific record. Um, but you can also do more specific items. So maybe I want documents that reference Suncor, so somewhere in the document Suncor is typed, and maybe documents that were created this year. So the date created is between January 1st, 2012 and October 17th, 2012, and somewhere in the t document the word Suncor is written. So again, this probably will bring up lots of results. So there's 145 results. Now you do see some yellow documents and then some blue documents that are labeled water document and some pink documents that are labeled air document. So this should let you know that yes, we're on the same database as um, the air division. So just make sure you check over here uh, in this record type area. Everything water, everything that has anything to do with water is going to be blue. So if you see a pink folder or a pink document icon that doesn't uh, doesn't have anything to do with water um, or it's not one of water's records um, and if you see a yellow document or a yellow folder, those are also not water's records. Water's records are always blue so the uh, document icon looks like that and the folder icon looks like this. So you can do more advanced search but that's we're gonna save that for a different class. So that's basically the trim basic user, user training. Thank you.